Shannon. I'll be guiding you through this month's reading. This is going to be our monthly reading for September 2022. At the heart of your reading, we have the Seven of Wands, which is all about setting boundaries and then maintaining them, defending them, um, standing your ground on something. I am getting a little bit of like a, you feel the need to uh, more assertively or even aggressively defend this boundary. Um, yeah, protective energy, Queen of Pentacles, you could be protecting loved ones, children, your home environment, or your resources in some way. Someone's trying to take from you, perhaps. Let's see your challenge. Page of Swords, communication. Okay, either you received a challenging piece of information or an inquiry, a request of some sort, or, and that's posing a challenge as to like, what do I do with this question? How do I respond? This requires a response for me and now what? I have to defend myself? It, like, I do get the sense that you feel like, if this is an inbound communication, you feel like it's intrusive. Like they're they're asking something of you that is inappropriate in your sense. Or the challenge is that you have to communicate something because of you wanting or needing to stand your ground, defend your territory. This might require you to be imaginative or creative in the way that you communicate this boundary. Like, okay, they're obviously not getting it. How do I make sure they understand? That could be the challenge for you. Show me Scorpio's focus. What are we focused on? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you and yours. Keeping um, your wealth, your prosperity, your home life, everything that belongs to you, safe and sound and intact, like the way that you want it to be. It's also talking about like, um, what's the right way to say this? Like, the boundary around that. So he's, do you see he's in a structure? So this arch is kind of showing like this is his home and there's like a little garden out here. This is his territory. Hmm. There's, a, there's something about safety and security involved here. You want to maintain kind of the happy home life and you feel like that's being um, potentially compromised. Let's see the recent past. It could be as simple as someone trying to get money from you and you, you don't feel like giving it or that it's warranted or that you should. And even if you feel like you should, it's almost like you want to make sure that you're the one to determine how much and when and how often you would be giving, if that makes sense. In the recent past, we have the Magician in Reverse, which in this context I feel like is manipulation. Um, someone trying to use tools that they have as their dis at their disposal to pull the strings like behind the scenes somehow and influence things in their favor. I do feel like this is someone else's energy. It's the person that or person or group of people that you feel like you're having to kind of defend against. And at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this is talking about how they feel. The Eight of Swords is almost like they think this is the one and only way to go about things. It feels very greedy, very like take, take sort of energy. It, it's not necessarily that. Um, if it is greedy in a sense, I think that the, the person or group that is behaving greedily doesn't see it that way from their perspective. Like they feel like they're behaving correctly and honorably. 
Like they know they're manipulating the situation, but they think gaming the system is like the, what the cool kids do. Like this is the smart way to behave. This is the the way that they they respect other people that behave this way, so they want to behave this way too. Show me the energy of the yeah the energy of the environment. Seven of Swords. Um, so what I've been picking up on it it's kind of being um, reinforced as the reading progresses. Um, and this is talking about, I think you have the right intuition with the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck um, about this situation as well. Someone's motives, um, I think you have a sense for what their motives are and I think you're right. The overall energy here being the Seven of Swords says either this person's behavior, being sneaky, trying to game the system, trying to get away with something, is important to happen to you in this situation for a reason. Like, so that, maybe, so that you uncover their unseemly behavior before it gets to be too much of a problem while you can still protect yourself from it. Um, or, perhaps, this is encouraging you in some way, shape, or form to be more private about your own activities. Like, if you feel like someone is kind of invading your space, this Seven of Swords could be an influence that you're, like an intuition or um, an instinct that you have to kind of just play your piece of this puzzle on the down low. Like, nobody needs to know, I'm gonna take this secret and that's the way that it should be, or that's the way that it, that it needs to be. Let's see what comes up in the near future. I, I, I am noticing that this um, writing on my shirt is kind of highlighted. It's because the sun is coming in through the window. I apologize, apologize if that's kind of distracting. Um, okay, near future, we have the star. More than any sort of feeling like you're on the right track, feeling like you are living your life's purpose, which are parts of the meaning of the star card. More than that, in this situation, I'm feeling like this is a very healing time coming up next. You might feel really like put on the spot and that can really deplete your sense of well-being. In the near future, you're going to have a real sense of relief. And it's not clear to me why or how. Things are gonna start moving quickly in a good direction with the chariot. And the seven of cups in reverse tells me that some sort of distraction or temptation that's been in your situation up until this point is going to be removed and that's probably going to influence your sense of well-being with the star showing up in the near future. And I do also feel like some of you are going to feel like you're on the right track, just in a, a more like general overall sense. Your surprise energy is the sun in reverse. So I feel like way over the horizon, you're gonna get a long-term sense of where things are headed and possibilities that are now gonna be open to you in the long term. So I don't think in like this month or next month, but something is going to start to seem a lot more real, a lot more tangible, a lot more concrete. Um, like it's not just a concept, a maybe, it's gonna start to really show up in the realm of reality for you. But I feel like this, the reversal is here to say, it's not like you're going to step into that world right away. It's like you're gonna see it on the horizon so that you kind of know a direction that you could head if you want to. I do think if that's the case, it's gonna be uh, be something that requires, let me get this out of the glare so you can see it. 
Hierophant in reverse at the bottom of the deck, it's going to be something that requires some thinking outside the box for you. Maybe, um, what's that phrase? Um, bucking the system in some way, breaking rules or maybe rules that you have for yourself. Like a rebellious spirit in some way. Okay, let's see your hopes and fears. What is Scorpio hopeful for? What are they concerned about? The Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. You're concerned about how this is going to affect your routine or your work, your livelihood, um, your ability to either make the things that you make or in a general sense, just your nine to five, like your, your professional purpose. If this doesn't have to do with work for you, it could just be more routine oriented. Like, I want to keep my head down, do what I know how to do, wake up the next day, continue doing what I know how to do. It feels familiar, it feels rewarding because I know I'm good at it and I can apply a skill in a certain way. These are all things that you're hopeful for. The fear side of that is how is this whole mess that you're going through right now going to disrupt that flow, that sense of routine for you? Could be a little bit of like two of pentacles energy. I have so much on my plate. Can I continue to handle everything? Can I juggle all of this at once and maintain this sense of flow that I have in my routine in my daily life? The end result we have, okay, interesting. Um, because the Seven of Cups reverse showed up earlier, but now it's being paired with the King of Swords. So this is like taking decisive action based on information that's being presented to you through experiencing the situation, having to do with or being motivated by uh, a sense of, let me put it like this, um, something that used to be very influential to you is not going to be influential to you anymore. It's not going to have the sway over you or the pull or the temptation that it had on you emotionally anymore. It's like now it's just like cool, detached, like mentally. It, it's not emotion for you anymore. There's some something in the situation where you just feel nothing for it anymore. You're done. Yeah. Could have to do with someone trying to take money from you or take power from you that has to do with your job or your ability to make money. Because we had the, um, the King of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck there. Okay, let's take a look at advice. How can Scorpio work with these energies for their best and highest good. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. And wow, sorry you guys, that glare is really coming into play now. Queen of Cups in reverse is no longer focusing her ability to attract what she loves and what will bring her pleasure and joy. She's not focusing that outwardly. She's turning that inward. So your advice from spirit is to say, if you feel depleted emotionally and your instinct is to replenish your emotional reserves through some external activity um, or I would say more like through an external person like let me spend time with a person that always makes me feel better or let me call this friend or family member who I can bounce ideas off of or they can give me their perspective and tell me everything's going to be okay. Like that emotional replenishment coming from an external source, whatever that instinct might be for you. If you have that instinct, you will likely be better off to try first something like alone time, meditation, uh, bubble bath. Um, going shopping, like whatever it is that you can do independently, alone, privately, not involving anyone else. It's just about you doing something that is healing and emotionally replenishing for you. 
bottom of the deck we have the lovers in reverse. So I would say it's also, I don't think that this whole situation is you being at odds with a, a girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, anything like that. But I think what this is getting at is not to put this on your partner. Like if you are partnered with someone in a relationship, don't seek the emotional replenishment or feeling better about things from them. Like don't make it their responsibility. In fact, if you if your instinct is to do that, that could unfold a whole other kind of emotionally sticky wicket situation. I'm, I wouldn't say it would necessarily be bad, but it wouldn't be ideal or optimal. Best case scenario, you get yourself feeling better on your own, and then you can come to the people who could help you kind of put it over the edge of feeling great. All right? So Scorpio, I wish you the best of luck this month. I hope it goes really well. I hope this reading helped, and I'll see you back next month.